Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone So, how are you today? Very good uh, So first of all I want to say Selamat Hari Raya to all of you I hope you are all in great health and ready to learn And don't forget to take care of yourself during these pandemic times Okay, so let's continue with our video For this video, we are going to start a new topic which is plans and in this video, uh, we are going to discuss ways of um, reproduction in plants. So what is reproduction? Uh, as we have learned before, uh, humans eat plants, animals eat plants, and plants can be used in many things such as medicines and foods. So if we are going to use plants and the plants does not reproduce, they will there will, will be no more plants to be for us to use so what reproduce, reproduction do is they ensure the plants does not instinct so there will be more plants more plants and more plants to for us to use okay so how do plants reproduce okay they, uh, these are the six ways of reproduction in plants that we are going to discuss today so the first one is seeds Suckers, spores, underground stem, stem cutting, and leaf. So let's discuss each of them. First, seeds. Plants that reproduce fruits reproduce through seeds. Yeah? The main point here is the plants that produce fruit. Yeah? Fruiting plants such as chili, papaya, apple, strawberry, mangoes, and so on, they reproduce through seeds. What is seeds? Okay, you, as you can see here, inside this is the these are the seeds that uh, can be found inside chilies. Okay, and look at these blacks and tiny little bits. Okay, these are the seeds of papaya plants. Sorry, papaya tree. Okay, so in this video, I want to share to you. We will you will see how. Uh, from bell peppers we can fix the seeds inside that and it can produce another tree okay let's see okay as you can see there are seeds take one seeds and it put inside the soil okay make sure it properly there and it waters it so in a few days it will germinate you still remember how it will germinate when it got uh, water soils and air Okay, see how from the seeds it can grow into new plants, young plants. Yeah, it takes almost 30 days to grow from one seed into a good plant, adult plant. 40 days. Okay, remember after adult plants it will produce flowers. Let's see how many days it takes to produce flowers. See, as you can see, almost 60 days they produce flowers and then it will produce bell peppers see how it grows just with that one seed it will produce um, a new bell peppers so that we can continue eat in our, our daily life right that's all that is how uh, plants reproduce through seeds right let's continue next one is suckers what are suckers Suckers are young plants that grow near their parent plants. Okay, as you can see here, these are the parent plants of banana plants. So this one is the suckers. This is yam plant. Yam, this is are the suckers. Okay, see here, these are the suckers. It grows near their parent plants. So, next one is underground stems. Underground stems are the parts of plants that will grow into new plants and uh, when planted. Okay, normally these uh, uh, plants like uh, tubers, rhizome use these ways, this way to reproduce into new plants. For example, here is onion and potato. Okay, let's look at the video how underground stem can produce a new plant ok 
Okay, these are the potatoes. When you give enough of soil, air and water, it will germinate into new plants. See, how uh, the roots, the stems, uh, grow into from uh, grow from the potatoes. See, right? See, from potatoes, it will grow into new plants. Right? Next, we have spores. Okay. As you know, not all plants have flowers, and not all plants have uh, can produce fruits. So, those non-flowering plants reproduce through spores. What are spores? Okay, uh, the example given here is mushroom and fern. You can see these little dots there, and yeah, this is are uh, not seeds. Yeah, if you focus on this one. They are little one. Yeah. These are spores. It's like uh, dust. Okay, but it contains uh, the information that needed for the plants to grow into new plants. Okay, these are spores. Right. Next one is stem cutting. When a stem cutting of a plant is planted, it will grow into a new plant. Okay. Most, uh, not all plants can use this method. Some plants like tapioca and bougainvillea, yeah, when you cut the stem, yeah, and you put that stem into the soil or you put into the water to propagate, yeah, so they can grow into a new plant. Okay, I have video to show you for this one. Okay, this is photon, some sort of yam. Okay, you see, it takes time. You see here, then it will grow into new roots, and later it will grow into new plants. Okay, let's see. Okay, this video is fast, uh, fast forward so that it doesn't. It takes actually it takes a long time to grow into a new plant. Okay, just like uh, the seed before. This is time lapse. Okay, I skip few things here. Okay, see here, it grows into new roots, new plants, become new plants. Okay, see. Right, that's the about stem cutting. And lastly, leaves. Yeah, some plants. Yeah. Uh, can reproduce through their parents leaf okay for example here snake plant and or setawa okay you take the leaf you put in water it can grow into new plants here you can see there are roots new roots yeah that can we grow that will grow into new plants okay here setawa uh, some type of succulent most type of succulent use um, this way to reproduce as you can see here it budding Budding through the leaf, yeah, the berpucuk daripada hujung daun tu. Okay, I think I have also a video. Yes, I have also a video here, so that you can see. This is pokok setawa, yeah. You see here, when you put water, you give soil, okay, it will grow at the tip of the leaf. This time, of course. See, see there. Okay. These are the new plants that will grow later into adult plants. Yeah. See, it takes time actually, but you need to make sure it gets enough water and soil so that it can grow into new plants. You see. This might be another plant, but this one is coming from the leaf. See, it grows into a new plant here. Young plant already. They got more and more leaf. Grow higher in height. Okay, I skip few. 
See? Later. Alright. Homework. So, you can turn to page 45 and 46 of your activity book and complete it. Okay, I will share the answer later so you can self-mark uh, the work yourself. Okay? I hope this video helps you to understand how plants can reproduce uh, or produce new plants uh, through seeds, leaves, stem, and others. There are six ways. Remember that. Okay. Complete. Name the ways of reproduction and complete the activity. So I will discuss this later. Okay. That's all. Bye.